Hey, in this video, we're going to learn how data tables can be combined with Excel functions, particularly Excel financial functions, to do some really powerful analysis of various scenarios that can occur. So open up a new workbook. You can do control N to do that. So we'll do data tables and financial functions with an example. And it doesn't have to be financial functions. It could be any Excel functions. So let's suppose you are going to borrow $400,000 for a house, and you want to know how will the monthly payment vary as you as the annual rate varies from, let's say, 2% to 9%, and the length of the loan varies from five to 30 years. Okay, so the trick is to solve this problem once for one combination of the two inputs, annual rate and the length of the loan, and then use a two-way data table to basically make it, make Excel vary the length of the loan and the annual rate over the ranges that you're interested in. Okay, so we'll, let's start with an annual rate of let's say 5%. The years in the loan, let's say 20. And then the size of the loan, we made 400,000. So the input store data table will not be the size of the loan, although we could bury that and see the table change. And I'm going to go automatic except for tables here. So you'll see that we have to basically hit F9 to make the table recalculate. Okay, so let's do a monthly payment. We use our friend the PMT function that we learned earlier. So we do PMT. Okay, now we want monthly payments. We've got to take the annual rate divided by 12. And the number of periods you take the years times 12 because that's how many months in your time frame. Now the size of the loan will be right there. There's no payment at the end. We'll assume end of the month payments. Okay. So you would pay $2,640 $2, a month to pay off that loan. Okay. Now to recalculate this for all the values, let's put the length of the loan here going down. So we'll go 5, 10, 15 through 30. And let's go annual rate. 2% through 9%. And then in the upper left-hand corner goes what we want to calculate, which is the monthly payment. And then all we have to do is a two-way data table. The row input equals the numbers in the first row, the annual rate. The column input will equal years. So we go data, what if analysis, data table, okay, row input cell, that goes here, column input cell, years in the loan goes here. Okay. Now these are all the same. Why? Because I did automatic except for tables in my option. I hit F9, they change. Okay. And so if I want these all to be positive, I could just throw a minus sign in front of this formula. And then hit F9 and it will update again like that. So what do you learn from the table? Okay, for a given length of the loan, as you move to the right, you're increasing the annual rate. An increase in the annual rate increases the payment. That's pretty obvious. And as you move down a column, for a given annual rate, increasing the years in the loan will greatly decrease your monthly payment. See, if you want to borrow 400000 for five years, you've got to pay 7000 But you pay it over 30 years, you'll have to pay 1400 For a given annual rate, increasing the length of the loan 
greatly decreases the monthly payment. Okay, so that shows you how you can leverage Excel functions, and it doesn't have to just be financial functions. It can be statistical functions that we'll learn about later. And so in our next video, we'll do one more example of data tables involving the concept of customer value, very important in any business. What is the value of a customer, and what are the two inputs that we use to determine the value of a customer, and then how does the value of a customer depend on those two inputs? And we'll see that in the next video. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.